Hello everyone, this is Dr. Kartika from Department of Biomedical Engineering, SNS College of Technology, Kaimbatur. Today we are going to discuss about elements of visual perception in digital image fundamentals. Okay, okay see this image, see here and see the second one. and see the third one okay see the fourth one see here in one image it represents nine different kind of images see here one two and third one fourth one and the fifth one six seven eight and nine okay this examples it represents visual perception of our human eye this is the major element in elements of visual perception okay first of all what do you mean by digital image what do you mean by image we know that digital image a multi-dimensional array of numbers such as intensity image or vector such as color image uh, uh, we have two types one is intensity images and second one is vectors the color images are represented by vectors see here in this picture each component in the image called pixel it associates with the pixel value pixel value means a single number in case of intensity images or a vector in case of color images see here how an input image is represented in terms of array of pixels Okay, see here this diagram it shows the visual perception of human eye. See here, see the visual perception elements. And starting from choroid, we have retina, suspensory ligament, cornea, pupil, lens, aqueous humor, iris, ciliary body, muscle, membranes, vitreous humor, blind spot, blood vessels, optic nerve, fovea and sclera. These are all the elements of visual perception of human eye. Actually, we consider the visual perception here. These are all the elements which contributes visual perception of human eye. See here, cross section of the human eye. Here we have uh, starting from nerves and sheath, we have sclera, choroid, and, uh, and the innermost layer, retina, blind spot, and fovea, vitreous humor, and visual axis. It represents the visual, uh, visuality of the eye, and we have ciliary fibers, lens, ciliary body, anterior chamber, cornea, iris, and ciliary muscle. Actually, these elements, uh, they, they are contribute to enhance the perception, visual perception of our human eye. See here, uh, here this diagram, it represents a distribution of rods and cones in the retina. Why do we need rods and cones? Here, see here, in x-axis, degrees of, uh, uh, degrees and uh, degree level of fovea from visual axis, center of fovea. And in y-axis, number of rods or cones per millimeter square. What's the purpose of rods and cones here? See here, here we have blind spot. In blind spot, we don't have uh, uh, any rod or cone. There is nothing there. So, it is called blind spot. There is no vision there. See here, the dotted lines represents rods and the straight line represents cones. Actually, rods and cones, they are responsible for bright light and dim light vision. Okay, he, see here, the range of relative brightness sensation. Here, the x-axis, it represents log of intensity and here we have glare limit and also we have scotopic threshold. We know that uh, rods and cones are responsible for bright light and dim light vision. That is photophic and scotopic vision. Here, in x-axis, it represents log of intensities and y-axis, it is represented by a subjective brightness. See here, here the simultaneous range is smaller than the total adaptation range. Here, we have small scotopic and large photopic vision. It represented by BA and BB. 
see here image formation in the human eye here we have a normal focus and nearsighted focus and farsighted focus see here uh, uh, the distance between uh, the image and our human eye is 100 meter and here the focal length is 17 millimeter and the object length is 15 meter and see here how this image is represented in our human eye okay next one is about mcban effect see here uh, the brightness adaptation of human eye it is based on mcban effect here the intensity and position are represented by step sizes when uh, the intensity levels are increased or decreased the position may be changed with respect to uh, pixels in the image okay here the intensities of surrounding points it uh, the effect perceived brightness at each point in this image the edges between bars appear brighter on the right side and darker on the left side which is uh, shown in this figure perceived brightness and actual illumination here the edges between the bars input image bars appear brighter on the right side and darker on the left side Okay, based on the intensity level, we can differentiate the uh, levels. Okay, here, see here, in area A, brightness is perceived as darker, while in area B, it is brighter. This phenomenon is called Megbat effect. And uh, one more thing is simultaneous contrast. See the example picture. All small squares have exactly the same intensity, but they appear progressively darker as the background becomes lighter see the example see here these are, these are the examples for simultaneous contrast all the thinness squares have the same intensity but they appear progressively darker as the background becomes lighter see here the one more uh, visual perception application or the element which is optical illusion of human eye See the first one, there is no square there, but it appears as like a square. Second one, circle. Third one, the length of the lines. Third and the fourth one is optical illusion of crossed lines. See here, these are all the examples for optical illusion. Actually it is rotating. See, this is also rotating rotating in clockwise see the ball is moving moving on the floor see here the darkness is spreading over the floor but it is not actually like that this is called optical illusion in human eye thank you